When it comes to taking care of your pool and keeping your chemicals balanced, it can be hard to know what chemicals you should add. Does it really matter what order you add your pool chemicals? Well, actually it does. And for more information, please visit my website, Clean Pool and Spa, where there are tons of resources available to help keep your pool perfect all swimming season. The order you use your pool chemicals will depend on what you need to accomplish with your pool chemistry. There is a correct order to add pool chemicals and we really shouldn't switch them around. The first step is to take your pool chemical readings, either with a good test kit like the Taylor K2006 or with test strips. You can also take a sample of pool water to your local pool store for analysis. I recommend to take your own readings and then have the results from the pool store. If they're both the same, you know you're on the right track. When we add our chemicals in the right order using the recommended levels, we can be assured our pool water is clean and sanitized. The chemicals that you should have on hand to make the right adjustments are these. First is chlorine. I recommend liquid. Next is pH increaser, which is soda ash or 20 mule team borax. pH decreaser, which is dry acid or muriatic acid. Alkalinity increaser, which is baking soda. Alkalinity decreaser, which is dry acid or muriatic acid. CYA stabilizer increaser, either liquid or dry. And calcium hardness increaser, and that's called calcium chloride. You can also have a good algicide on hand. A polycot 60 is what I recommend. And if you have a salt pool, make sure you have salt on hand. The five areas that we'll want to test are the chlorine, which is two to four parts per million. pH is 7.2 to 7.8. Alkalinity is 80 to 120 parts per million. Calcium hardness, which is two to 300 parts per million. And our cyanuric acid conditioner stabilizer is 30 to 50 parts per million. Salt pools can have a stabilizer level up to 70 parts per million. So the correct order to add our chemicals is this. First, we want to adjust our CYA, our stabilizer. Yes, our stabilizer is absolutely the most important chemical to get right the first time, and here's why. There's a chemical to raise and lower everything. If our chlorine is low, we can add chlorine. If it's too high, we can add a chemical called theosulfate or thiosulfate, and that neutralizes it. If our pH is low, we can add some soda ash or borax into the skimmer. We walk away and call it good. If our pH is high, we can add a little dry acid or muriatic acid. That'll do the trick. We can raise and lower this all day long. If our CYA is low, we can either add granular or liquid CYA stabilizer. But if it's high, let's say it's 80, 90, 120 parts per million, the best and long-term solution is to do a partial drain and refill. You see, what we don't want to do is to add a bunch of chemicals to adjust our pH and our alkalinity and chlorine, and then come to find out that our stabilizer is at 120 parts per million, which means that all those chemicals and money and time are going right down the drain. So let's get our stabilizer right the first time in the right range of 30 to 50 parts per million. Next is our pH, which is 7.2 to 7.8. As was already mentioned, we can use soda ash to raise it or dry acid or muriatic acid to lower it. pH that's too high can cause cloudy water and can neutralize our chlorine and may cause scaling. pH that's too low will be acidic. Next on our list is the alkalinity, which is 80 to 120 parts per million. We can easily raise it by using baking soda and lower it by using dry acid or muriatic acid. By keeping our alkalinity balanced, our pH will be locked in so it won't swing up and down, which is called pH bounce. Next is our chlorine, which is to be kept at two to four parts per million. Now I suggest using liquid chlorine, especially if our fill water or our makeup water is already hard. Here in Florida, our tap water is about two to 250 parts per million. So I always encourage my customers to use liquid chlorine, which won't raise the hardness. Okay. Calcium hypochlorite is fine when your fill water is already soft. And now we come to our calcium hardness at two to 300 parts per million. Once we get the hardness level correct, we'll only wanna test it about once or twice a month as the hardness level won't swing up or down too much. And if you choose to use an algicide, only use a polyquat 60 algicide. You'll wanna stay away from algicides containing metals like copper. Overuse of copper algicide can cause the water to turn an emerald green and the copper doesn't kill algae faster than 
it can reproduce. Once you've added all of your pool chemicals, you'll want them to circulate for about eight to 10 hours. At this point, you can retest and make another adjustment if you need to. And remember to head on over to my website, Clean Pool and Spa, to get started on your journey to having the best pool in your neighborhood.